Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. No. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to do the movie review for The Nun. Now I'm going to say this, I did see it last week. I just didn't put a review up because, you know, I was handling shit. So today I'm going to do that review. <laughs> but, um... I thought The Nun was going to be, like, extremely scary scary, but it wasn't. It wasn't that scary to me. I actually slept with the lights off. <laughs> Usually I don't, okay? I need to have lights, noise, whatever on so I can, you know, so I can fall asleep. So, but yeah, I'm going to start with uh, the director... His name is um, Corin Hardy. I don't know too much about him, so let me just keep it real. I don't know too much about him. There is Google search, but I ain't doing all that extra work. <laughs> okay. Um, so pretty much, um, the main character, which is uh, Tessa, or Tessa, Farminga, which is my girl. She plays on American Horror Story. I love this actress. Uh, she's pretty much, she's good. I just love her American Horror Story. She's really good. But she did a really good job as playing Sister Irene in this film. Um, so they pretty much, they pretty much are, the priest in her, well, she's actually a nun in training, okay, from in the start of the movie. And she has visions. So, I'm going to say that how the nun became was uh, was uh, conjuring, well, conjuring two. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be real. I didn't see the second conjuring. Okay, I only seen the first one. But in the beginning of the nun movie, they did see we all see a preview of, toward the end of how the nun like appeared to the um to sister Irene's sister so cause I guess they all it's a it's a family thing they all have visions or some of them I don't know which ones but I know the two sisters sister Irene and that conjuring lady chick they're sisters and they have the visions so, I'm just keep it real. Like, I went in there thinking, oh, you know, since I didn't see The Conjuring 2, because how they had the nun start out, it was back, like, 1950s, I believe, or earlier than that. I didn't do my research, apparently. <laughs> I just wanted to get this review out of the way. And from my perspective of the movie. So. And for the record. The nun. She is demonic. Okay. I've seen. <laughs> and I've heard people saying. No. She's just a lost soul. No. No. She is a demon. Okay. She's demonic. She's evil. Very, very evil. Okay. Just leave it at that. But, um, like I said, in the beginning of the movie, so I said with Sister Irene, she's, you know, in the classroom, you know, just talking to the kids and, you know, telling them to believe in God. And, and then this priest um, goes to this, the Vatican and they want him to investigate what took place at church because all the nuns are dead and the recent nun, I guess, whatever, she ended up killing herself. She threw herself out the window because she didn't want to be, um, she didn't want to be possessed by the nun. So the Vatican wants the priest in to take the new nun in training to see what's going on. Well, while they're going, they meet up with this guy named Frenchie which I'm not crazy about his character. He had the most cheesiest lines. 
and he was trying to <laughs> it was funny because he was trying to hit on her and he was trying to hit on the sister irene and he didn't know that she was you know that she was an under training but it was it was just kind of funny <laughs> but he had the most cheesiest lines and i'm just like oh my gosh just stop already it's annoying it's annoying just stop but anyway They end up all going to the church. And, of course, one of the churches, I mean, one of the churches, one of the nuns were already, like, all of them are dead. But, you know how they had the black deal and everything else. And she was all pretending. She was like a spirit. And she was just telling them that you shouldn't be here. It's cursed. You guys should just walk away. And the priest was like, no, we need to find out what took place, what happened here. And, um... So I can go back to the Vatican and let them know, and you know, it's that. There are some scenes that were scary. I mean, because I was just sitting in the chair like this, and then if I saw something scary, I'm like, <laughs> I try to play it cool, you know. <laughs> That's me personally. I be trying to get play it cool, you know, so you don't know I'm scared. I am scared, but I'm not that scared, you know. But uh. My favorite part, do I have a favorite part? <laughs> if I really have to think about it, that's probably, that probably means I don't. Uh, I, I don't have a favorite part. I just like the scene when Sister Irene and she was having her visions, her visions was coming to light. And um, that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much I like <laughs> it left me confused and I blame myself because I didn't watch Conjuring 2 but toward the end of the movie that's where I lost sight at that's where I was lost at because I felt like it was a prequel but I guess it's something they just want to do how the nun you know appeared it was just based on her story so that's i was like oh okay because like i said they saw the nun in conjuring 2 toward the end and they did show a clip of that in the beginning of the movie of the nun and how i'm confused that is because the nun ended up um possessing frenchie okay now when he was possessed or whatever like you know they took him to the church and whatnot because we saw the clips and like how because they, they did the whole exorcism on him and whatnot but like where did that the demon go like the nun go that's where I got lost at, and I'm still lost to this day. Like, how does that work? Because he was possessed, like, like the nun, like, left the mark and everything. And we see in the clip toward the end where they're trying to, you know, do the exorcism on him, and he's going all crazy and stuff. But how did, like... <laughs> once the demon left whose body did it take over that's where I'm lost at and that's probably where I should have watched The Conjuring 2 because it will probably it probably explain where the demon went because I was just like alright so they did an exorcism on him he's clear and good but where did the demon go? You see what I'm saying? So I was kind of confused. Yeah, I was hella confused toward the end. Um, but other than that, I mean, the movie... Let me just write this movie. For me, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a C-. I'm giving it a C- because 
<laughs> like it was supposed to be extremely scary it wasn't scary for me I, I i really wanted to you know be scared and sleep with my lights all on and you know have bad nightmares and stuff <laughs> I want to say the first paranormal movie did that for me. I was scared, let me tell you. But after that, after Par Paranormal 2 came out, 3, and it, I was just like, oh. But the first paranormal? No. Another one, too. The Blair Witch Project. That scared me. I was. Whew. When I was younger. <laughs> I'll be real, I wasn't too crazy about horror movies. I wasn't too crazy about watching scary movies until I got older. Like Freddy Krueger, he, when I was young, I was scared of him too. Real scared of him. Real scared of him. Um, but now I'm just like, yeah, I'm a dog. He's fine. I can chill with Freddy Krueger all day. <laughs> But all in all, I just wanted to throw that out there. Not like you guys care, like, what the hell? She talks about the nun and then she starts going into other horror movies. See? That's what you get with me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the nun for me, I'm like I said, I'm going to give it a C-. minus, And I want to say it's because of my own fault. Because I felt like I should have watched The Conjuring 2. Because me thinking I'm watching The Nun and it's going to be like a prequel of how, you know... How well, how it, to me, it was a prequel to me because how the nun came to be, and how you know, you know, when they were you know, devil worshiping and they ended up calling her and all that, and it, it yeah, so <laughs> but I feel like it's my fault, but whatever, I'm raining to sleep because it didn't really scare me that much. Um, it's just that but the main actress I like which I said Tessa Farmiga she did a hell of a good job I liked the priest character too he was good I wasn't like I said I wasn't crazy about Frenchie whatever the dude's name is because his cheesy ass lines was just caught me off guard you know but anyway let me know what you guys think should I have watched The Conjuring 2 to understand the movie more um I don't know what do you guys think leave your comments below thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking as well and i hope to see you guys some more and more and more and even more okay <laughs> have a good day guys